Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Monday, 11th of December 2023. These trades were shared by Yasin, who's trading S&P 500 futures. If you look at the macro chart, we see that the price is in wide range sideways and the price got rejected at a static resistance level. So using a structural chart, you can see that the price is going down and there's a pullback here and using the smaller trading chart, he identified area of pullback and using algo 1 to 5 he entered here two sell short position and manage and close them with the strategy number two with profit so thank you yasin for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by johnny who's trading nasdaq futures if we look at the macro chart we see that the price tested this level of static resistance and it got rejected three times and now we see a downtrend channel and it broke the dynamic support level you can see the consolidation here on the structural chart and breakdown and he entered here after breakdown with sell short position and manage and trail them with good risk to reward ratio and profit so thank you johnny for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by sh who's trading nasdaq as you see the macro chart is in uptrend and rich area of static resistance and it broke that level so we can see that breakout on the structural chart and this wave of uptrend here that had some pullback was taken using the one minute trading chart so she identified this area of the pullback and entered based on algo one to five one position here and another long position here and managed and closed them with exit strategy number one with profit so thank you sh for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by PM who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the macro chart broke this level and we can see that the price is in uptrend. So using the structural chart you can see also the uptrend channel and the consolidation area. So you can see that he identified several area of long entries based on algo 1 to 5 and manage and close them with exit strategy number 1 with profit. So thank you PM for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by MG who is trading Dow Jones CFD. As you see the macro chart is in uptrend and is losing momentum. So you can see in the structural chart the uptrend that is losing momentum. And the last wave of the uptrend was taken using a smaller trading chart here with several long positions. And when the price reversed and the seller came back he took also sell short position here based on algo 1 to 5 and close and manage them with exit strategy number one with profit. So thank you PM for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Sam or global instructor from Australia who's trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the price on the macro chart reached this area of static resistance and it got rejected. So using a smaller structural and trading chart, he identified this area of price rejection and entry based on setup B and enter several sell short position and manage and close them with very good risk to reward ratio and profit so thank you sam for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those that i have taken during the new york market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday so i'm gonna replay the video here for you hello everyone i'd like to share with you the trade that i have taken today on monday 11th of december 2023 these trades were taken on Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and S&P 500 futures. If we look at the one-hour macro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating below the previous day close on all eminis, and during the London session, it started to go up. And during the New York market session, it tested this level again, and it slightly went down, and the buyers came back strongly and passed the previous day close and high on all eminis so around 10 o'clock after retesting this level on this shadow that you see on several green candles i took several long position on nasdaq and dow jones and around 10 30 when the price on s p 500 tested this level of previous day close and point of control i took long position also on s p 500 and these signals were copied by copy traders to multiple apex trader funds accounts and you see the performance on one of these accounts that shows it was positive with profit factor of 17 with 81% win rate from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 3.89 the largest winning trade was $808 and the largest losing trade was $144
So hope this trick taken by the path system for fast sculpting is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.